I've always uh, sought ways, uh, you know, I was a teacher for seven years. I taught literature, uh, I taught geography, I taught liberal studies as a teacher. I trained as a teacher. I was very interested in art history. I was also very interested in how you might use one media to explore another. So when I was teaching about, let's say, example, African geography, I used poetry, the poetry of Africa uh, and the concept of negritude to explore politics of geography in Africa. Um, and something that I'm com I've come back to in a project called the Postcolonial University, where I'm working with a number of African and indigenous scholars to broker that concept and to explore what means of resistance there are against neoliberal incursions through the, the branch campus and the expansion of American uh, and other British forms of export education. But look, the visual is um, the predominant sense. If you're going to say something about human beings and their evolution, you have to say, um, we have two eyes. So, you know, two eyes, that sense is a, a highly a highly developed one. Even the ability to read is based on, uh, you know, the sight of uh, this kind of perception and on visibility. Um, and more and more, it seems to me that pedagogy per se is less about discipline and control and more, and should be, more about the dynamics and the logic of visual culture how we understand that. Um, unfortunately, our literacy, our visual literacies, and I shouldn't really use that expression because the visual is not like the printed word and it doesn't conform to the same patterns and forms of causation, as does uh, reading the written word. Um, but I should say, you know, our visual literacies are not well developed. You know, uh, our major form of visual, visual literacy comes from art history, from analysing paintings, from, from aesthetics in general, and, and from film studies and video <coughs> and photography, which are the industrial arts, you know, and these really have only been around for a very short period of time. But really that's why it's important to encourage conversation with artists as you have done um, with this conference coming up um, and let's say uh, people who specialise in the visual, uh, who record the visual, uh, who analyse the visual, uh, those people that provide um, a kind of menu or prescription in visual kinds of institutions like museums and so on. So, you know, I would say we need, we are only at the beginning again of being able to understand uh, what the concept of visual literacies are, visual, you know, for visual culture.